So Janneke, the reason we want to talk with you, and I have the great honor of doing this, is um, every year uh, the Patient Safety Movement Foundation um, gives out some humanitarian awards. This year, uh, we're giving three out, and you are the winner of one of them. And so I'm Whoa! very honored to uh, uh, give this to you. Um, it, uh, it, you have the Steve Morrow Humanitarian Award. You're the winner of that. And Steve Morrow, you may have met because he was a board member. Um, and unfortunately, um, he died of cancer in 2017. And so we I remember him ever since. Um, and to qualify, nominees must exemplify uh, individuals who are actively working to improve patient safety within their health system through their leadership with a site of zero preventable deaths by 2020. Well, you absolutely meet that. I, I can't think of where I haven't seen you around the globe where you've been talking about patient safety. Oh, and, wow. um, you know, you've been, you're from Trondheim, Norway, past president of the World Federation of the Society of Anesthesiologists, president of patient safety and quality movement of the European Society of Anesthesia. You're the driving force behind the Helsinki Declaration on Patient Safety in 2010. Um, you, you've, you've been a great patient safety advocate uh, throughout uh, your years and uh, been on the board of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation since 2016. You got the great honor of being awarded the Knight of St. Olaf's Order last year from the country of Norway, phenomenal. And uh, we're very honored, I'm very honored to get you uh, this award. It will come to you soon. I don't know whether you can see my camera, but I'm gonna show you, this is the award here. And uh, it'll be on your doorstep fairly shortly. And we hope we can get it to you in person, um, maybe next year if we have a meeting in person. So. Janneke, thank you so much for all you've been doing. I know you're the lead keynote speaker at a meeting in, Gen in June uh, with the European Society, the American Society and ISQA in Milan uh, on patient safety. It's just phenomenal what you're doing. So there's nobody more deserving of this award than you. Thank you so much. Wow. This was totally unexpected for me. <laughs> I've, I've been, I have to pinch my arm to see that I'm not dreaming this. I mean, totally unexpected. What a great, great honor. And, and it's very special in particular to receive the award named after Steve Moreau, which I had uh, the, the honor to meet on several occasions and who sadly passed away too early. And uh, the, he has also been an, an inspiration for me. While I'm say, I myself have been sick as well, and it's uh, always good to have uh, people to, uh, to inspire you when you are working both in patient safety and in personal life. So giving me, awarding me this special award means uh, particularly much to me. The honor is ours. We're, we're just so honored to give it to somebody so deserving because but, you're the epitome, global patient safety. No, but it's, it's true that all of us who are involved in the Patient Safety Movement uh, Foundation, we are passionate about what we are doing. And you can feel mm -hmm. how all when the group comes together, how we are you know, improving our, each other's energy level and want to do something because we really see the mission of what we can do. And uh, as we have discussed before, for, for me being involved in anesthesiology, uh, we know that five out of seven, seven billion people in this world do not have access to safe and affordable uh, anesthesia and surgery. And that's not only in in the poorer countries or even in the richer countries, we lose too many lives due to unsafe care, not only in anesthesia and surgery, but all fields of healthcare. And what I feel, as you have heard me say a billion or a zillion times, is that the way we work together in this movement, coming together all stakeholders uh, to, to improve patient safety and to save those unnecessary lost lives, it, is, it feels so purposeful 
what could be more purposeful in, in, in medicine than what we are doing together? So. Absolutely. So thank you so much for what you continue to do. And this is just a little recognition to thank you of what you've done so far. And I know you're going to continue with the same enthusiasm that you have, which is more enthusiasm, I think, than anybody I've ever met. I mean, we know when Yannick is in the room and uh, we know you're supportive and uh, it, it's just wonderful to be working with you. It really is. Excuse me, do you have a mirror? <laughs> so, so go see uh, yourself in so, the mirror and you will see what inspiration looks like. <laughs> thank you so much.